How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today this is gonna seem like this is paid promotion or like I'm dick riding or whatever, but this is genuinely such a good tool. It's actually insane how good this tool is that um, I usually don't pay for anything. I don't pay for anything. Right now I'm on the free subscription. It's like a 14 or two week trial. This is something I'm gonna pay for. Like it's actually so good that it's worth it. Such a good application. Whoever made this is like literally like Gigabrain. Essentially, it's called Language Reactor. And um, I just started using it to learn Italian, like to help learn Italian uh, for me. I've been learning Italian for like 10 months or so, 10 months or so. And a very important part about learning any language is immersion. So just trying to like watch content in that language and pick up on new words and stuff. And there's certain tools. So back in the day, you just have to watch and you'd listen. You're like, oh, what's that word? Um, Like, you know, you just hear whatever word and then you might write it down and then look up in the dictionary. Very convoluted, very slow. Now there's like this essentially, there's another one. There's another program. It's called uh, Migaku. Migaku, Migaku, Migaku. I don't know how to, I don't know. I just, yeah, Migaku. But um, essentially, it's literally the exact same thing. And I actually wanted, it's the same price as well. It's only $5 a month, which if you really think about it, for what you get, $5 a month is so worth it. Even like $200 for like forever. You know, it's it's, it's good. It's good. But um, the only problem with this is that it doesn't have Italian. And um, yeah, it just, it doesn't have Italian. It doesn't even have any languages like I probably want to learn. If you, maybe French. But yeah, but essentially language reacted exact same, but has way more languages, has a lot more, like a lot more support. Um, although granted, this probably has better, this is probably more in depth. This is probably more in depth, but honestly, some of the features, there's one feature I literally just discovered, it's insane. So I'm gonna stop waffling. Um, so you can choose your language, so in my case, Italian, but like first it'll show you just like media. So you could just like, this is like some basic newbie stuff. You can actually like, you know, it sorts out videos based on the level of difficulty. And, um, you know, obviously like the lower level videos tend to be just more like comprehension, like just very basic stuff. Like, um, that like, even after a bit of study, you would understand the stuff. And then level 10, this is like basically native videos. Um, yeah. So anyways, uh, and then, you know, has channels and stuff. Th this, like this stuff is like, like whatever, like this were like, oh, recommended. doesn't matter. Books. This is pretty cool. I can't lie. You have a bunch of text, um, that you can just read. Like I'm guessing these are, yeah, this seems to be like it's like free like in the domain um what's it called public domain so for example we can click on pinocchio and then we can just like you know have the text and it'll have the translation on the right side right hand side and then as 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 well bro why can't i talk <laughs> as well um i think it's yeah it's like automated what's it called like machine so you can just like listen to it so you can get the pr pronunciation so come on okay master chileja and then here's the great thing. So before this, you're going to go have to, so before this, you're going to have to go to your settings. Uh, where would I actually go from here? I think, um, well, actually, oh, right here. And you can do, you can set your vocabulary level, click on set. And essentially you're going to choose like, I think it's like which word is uh, until like which category where you like one of the words you don't understand. So like all these words I can understand. So roughly, roughly my words is like the, my vocabulary level is like 3000 to 4000 words. So, mediante, organo, miglioramento, prigioniero, bello, clima. And then, selvaggio, like, I think, I think that means salvation. Musicista, like, musician, zampa, leg, multiplicare, finanza, abbi, finanza. Like, I can guess, but I, I'm not, like, 100% sure. Honestly, like, interruzione. I can't lie. Yeah, like, like, here. Like, it's definitely, like, around here. Um, but I just said it as, like, roughly this is, like, my level. And then... The great thing is that it'll, like, rare words, it'll highlight as, like, being dark. So, zatera, I don't know what that means. Now, fragile, dormi. Um, that's, like, I think I understand. That's, like, you sleep. Sleep. I don't know. Something like that. But, say, I don't know. Um, and then, you know, all these other words, like, I, I don't know, like, la prima notte sulla sabbia, da quasiasi umana. All these other words, very basic. But you set your vocabulary level, so you don't have to add every single word. And then essentially what you can do is, you know, you're reading. Hmm, what does this word mean? Falegname. Falegname? Is that how you say it? Falegname. Falegname. And it means, oh, okay, it means carpenter. So in this case, I actually like did look at this word. I'm like, I, I don't know. So you could set is either being known. Like, let's say I knew this word. I could just set it. And the easy way to do this is just right click. And then you'd be like, yeah. Or let's say like, 
you know, I'll scroll down. Let's see a word I actually don't know. Vocina. I don't know what this word means. Voice. Again, I can set this. And now I'm going to have a list. Um, again, the thing is like, how do I pull it up? I actually don't know. I'll save the items. Now I have a list of the words that I like don't know. So Vocina. And it'll tell me like, you know, I got this from a text. Um, same with Falenyame. And you can see like all the words. Essentially, it allows you to sentence mine. Like this is what the actual term, like sentence mining. It's the find new words. And um, essentially, the, the good thing about this is that you can take these words, you save list, you can export it to Anki. Now, the actual export to Anki is like kind of mid, how they do it. How I do it is I have a CSV and then I have my own custom uh, format. Because the way they do it is like they have, they want you to guess the actual um, translation. So they'll have like the trans, like they'll have it in English and they're like, what is the Italian word for this? But at least for me, like you can do that. I'd rather have it opposite where I'd rather have the Italian word and let me like, like, let me recognize what the word means instead of having to recall because number one, it makes the, the Anki cards, like doing the Anki cards a lot easier. And number two, I, I believe this is my method is that try and try and make your understanding of whatever language you're learning as high as possible. Try and know as many words as possible. And naturally your speaking ability will improve. And that's like so far, like I've not really practiced speaking that much, but because I've improved my comprehension as much, like a lot, um, just naturally, obviously you do want to practice speaking at one point, but naturally your, um, why, why can't I, your, yeah, your like ability to speak after that will improve. So um, here I have, this is my, like this literally just means like, Extra extraction of Italian sentences, like sentence mining. That would be like the translation. But here, like this is my deck and this is what I've exported so far. And essentially, Perché faccio il montaggio? we have this. So I was watching this video. It had the word montaggio. It's a noun. Perché faccio? So this is the context. So perché faccio il montaggio? Um, and then like just from this. Oh, okay. Montage. That's what it means. And yeah, editing, montage. Oh, so, and then I remember like, oh yeah, he was saying like, because I make this edit, because I make the edit, whatever, because I do the editing. Um, and yeah, so I could be like, okay. Okay, good. diamoci dentro. Diamoci dentro. Um, oh, what did this mean again? Yeah, this meant, when I was watching this like episode, it was like, okay, let's, uh, let's give it all. Or like, let's, let's start. I actually don't know. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. That's what it was. Um, so then, Lo scopo you know, I di questo. and then, you know, from there and very good it's just very good so for example um i'll just show you right now let's say i export um it's gonna be all new yeah let me just create a deck called test just so that i can like import it here and you know what actually before i do all this i want to say there's actually something i literally just discovered so you got netflix here the problem with so for example i'm watching barky here very good show. i actually like it i can't lie um let me uh okay let me do it like this one of the things is that so this is originally in japanese it's, it's anime and whenever you're watching and it's just whatever like whenever like it doesn't matter what like type of show it is whenever you're watching a dub the subtitle almost never matches it like it literally never matches for example here um the subtitle says ci sono esempi reali di bravi secondi che prov provocano i loro pugili gli allenatori provoca but it says it already says gli allenatori gli allenatori so right. per fermare il la um, spesso Okay, spesso. So immediately, like, it doesn't even have the word. If first says spesso, which means like often, but here it says. Gli allenatori provocano consapevolmente. Yeah, so it says, like, since often, um, the trainers. Gli allenatori. Yeah, the trainers, um, they try. Like, so it's like a different sentence. That's what I'm saying. Like, it doesn't match up. But, but it actually surprised me when they had this feature. They have this feature. Where essentially it uses AI, bro. It's always AI, but AI will scan the show and will make accurate subtitles. So this way, like the problem was, is like I'd listen, and usually I'd still have the subtitles on because I'm like, at least I can understand it more, like a little bit what's going on. Like if I read the subtitles, I can usually understand almost everything. Um, let's say in Baki, like I would understand everything or like a lot. If I don't, it's like it becomes way harder. It becomes what it becomes like a lot harder. My listening ability is not as good. But there's this feature called ASR. So this is the, a like the, how would you call it? The AI thing. So I, I click on that. It's going to be accurate subtitles now. So it's going to take a second to load, but now this is exactly what it says. Spesso gli allenatori provocano consapevolmente. Like if we just like listen, 
o gli allenatori provocano consapevolmente i pugili per incoraggiarli e farli smettere di sanguinare. That is so good. Uh, that's actually insane. Um, another, like another cool thing, you can see the subtitles and then just A and D, you can just go forward and back. It's actually very good. And then again, like, I was listening to this, I'm like, arendati, I don't know what that means. So I just, you know, I just marked that up. Um, render me. Like, like me give up. Like, okay, that's, that's actually good. Um, I guess you'll get, I actually don't know this word, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, what, but what nonsense. And then, again, it's not perfect, because, for example, here, <laughs> it says, I'm happy for you, Bucky. But what, this actually, it's, because he's saying Bucky, so let me, uh... Yeah, so, it's not 100% perfect, but you can, like, that's usually, like, names and stuff, like, you can... You gotta use some discretion, but it's much better. This is much better for language learning than opposite. Just like not having, like just having subtitles that don't even match. And again, then after when you're like when you're done, you can just export it. So for example, did I try, did I export it before? Um, so what I'll do is like I'll export. Uh, okay, I'll export CSV. I think this is the way. Like I think this is the best way to do it. So you export it. Let's give it a sec. Let's give it a second. <laughs> Actually, wait, I, just, I already exported. So, um, so what I'll do is I'll unzip the latest one. If I, wait, which one is the latest one today? So this is the latest one. And then I kind of want to, like, I kind of want to, like, automate this stuff. But um, I'll probably get, like, create a little script to, like, just unzip and then, like, sort it out. What you have to do is, like, you have to copy the media files. Um, and again, like, there's some annoying things. So, yeah, so you want to copy all the media files into this file location, at least on Linux. Um, I don't know, if Windows, just look up the guide, look up the guide. There, there's like a guide on how to export um, to Anki, like from this, like from language reactor. You copy that and once you're done, so let's say, you know, I got this test deck. I input the item CSV and then I have, I made a custom like deck or what do you call it? Custom card type that is, yeah, note type. I made a custom one called LR, like language reactor sentence mining, where it has Cause it's like 24 fields. So I have a field for everything. I just named it exactly how it is. Some of the, like most of the fields are like useless. I import. Um, and I don't know why the image is not working. Okay. That was, but okay. You got the image right here. Oh, I think cause before that was a, um, what would you call it from that? That was from the book. So that's why. And again, like it won't look like this by default. You go to cards. And, Wait, I didn't even know I could do that. Wait, I don't know what, wait, what? What? Okay, if you don't understand, the audio was from the show itself. It wasn't the translate, it like wasn't like a, a, like it wasn't like a bot, like it wasn't like a robot. Wait, I don't know what I did. But yeah, like I set it up like this. I think I just put this in the description. You just want to copy and paste the front and back. Um, wow, that is so cool. That's actually insane. You can see like, so this is a render verb then translation and then here it also has like the lemma like the affinitive like the root um wait that's actually so cool dunque non vuoi ancora renderti dunque vedo che non ti sei ancora reso why is it wait why, okay do you guys see that why is it robot le prime sequenze di dragon ball game project z hanno confermato subito it's like some youtube ipotizzi. video like I'm campanellina not... per restare sempre aggiornati su tutti quello che abbiamo Scrive. Nuovo pubblico e infiammano il una forte dunque campana le Ok, I should don't know. I should don't know. I how did I do that? I should don't know, but I think that's all that, that's about it. I'm trying to think if there's anything like really cool. So I, I guess you can do that as well. I, I don't know how I did that. But I'm, I'm not going to lie, so. Um pro tips if you're using this, make sure to like turn off force original tracks, but it doesn't even work. The problem is like every time I refresh, it changes it back to Japanese, which is very very annoying but um yeah I, I don't know i i think it might be working because of this but i'm not, I'm not 100 percent sure because i think that was the only new word that i like because only that word what was it render renderti or like whatever it was that was the only word that i like marked um was that in there i don't know i actually don't know i actually don't know no it's only 10 i don't know i actually don't know but um a render dunque non vuoi ancora render arreso 
Yeah, it seems like any new word I mark, like if I mark this box. So I guess it just saves like the entire subtitle. Um, which is cool. And uh, now this is not stopping, so it's a very, it's a very long subtitle. Um, is there anything else? Again, I'm I'm only like I'm only on free trial, but whew, this is so good. This so this chatbot as well. I haven't even touched that to be honest, but I think the service is worth it. If you're a language learner, just think about the amount of time you're gonna save. Just click a word. It has everything. The images it has all the context. The audio, um, try like multiple translations you don't have to, like before i was kind of doing it manually it's very tiring it's very tiring it's very long i think this was gonna this is gonna skyrocket my talent it's gonna go like insane especially with honestly just for the like the subtitles that match i think that's already worth it five dollars a month brother that's nothing that's actually nothing anyways i hope you enjoyed this video um i'll leave a link to it in the description below and yeah i'll also put the what's it called my front and back template if you guys just want to copy it for the Anki cards. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.